Hey everyone, the mage here, and now I'm going to play the second, I don't know, uh, quest, no, area in the summer 2015 adventure map. Okay, so dead mood. Dungeon levels 1 to 60. Cesaro needs you to help him free the spirit of a little girl, Melora, who has had her voice stolen. Okay, so let's see. Um, let's see, go there. Okay, um, so let's see. Uh, okay, um, so where is Cesaro? Okay, a cutscene. Okay, a cutscene here. Okay, there. Okay, so there is Cesaro with a spirit right there, and there we come walking. Oh, hey, hero. I see you got my message. It was kind of hard to miss, Cesaro. It's not every day that a group of squirrels flood into battle on, but when they all start saying, Cesaro would like your help instead of chirping. Well, that's just a special day. They were everywhere. It took most of a day to round them all up. I could have used a herd of cattle. <laughs> just send a note next time. Anyway, what's up? I'd like you to meet someone. This is Malora. It's okay, Mal. This is Zor, a good friend. Hi, Malora. It's nice to meet you. She's a ghost. Handshakes are out. Right, sorry. She needs our help. She wants to badly to rest, but she can't. She had a very rough, very short life. Okay, so I guess a flashback of her. Okay, there she is. In a stable. Her parents died when she was young and she was left on her own. With horses? She was rarely spoke to anyone except the horses she took care of. The rest of the town thought she was a freak, but let her keep the tending horse for horses for them. Okay. Until the sickness came to dead mood. Okay. okay. This doesn't sound good. People started dying and the townsfolk went to Mayor Proditine demanding answers. He could see the people were coming unhinged. He could have held them together with courage. But he decided to blame someone instead. Mayor Prodi Proditine. Proditune remembered how the strange little girl in the stables had lost her parent to illness. He said Malora was cursed and the town had to get rid of her to cure the illness. Well, that's just plain stupid. The townspeople chased Malora, trying to get her to leave town. When she ran up the cliff, she had nowhere to go. Someone threw a rock. Uh-oh, and she died. Didn't she? Someone else joined in, then another, then and another. Man, that must have been painful. That's just sad. Man, this is sad. Okay. Malora died here, killed by irrational fear, guilty of nothing more than being different. She was innocent, just a poor, shy kid. Her screams were trapped in the stones used to kill her, sealing her voice away. If you can find the stones, we can return her voice and then she might be free. I'll do what I can. See, Mal, I told you Zor would help. Malora, I won't stop searching this town until you can rest. Okay, so I guess... Okay, what's this? Who's this guy? A werewolf, maybe? Voice of the Queen. Okay, Shamat, these stone... Shamat, these stones hold much power. With them, a weapon could be created to cause great fear. I understand why I was sent you. Oh, so this guy is Shamat. Shamat, or whatever. And uh, the, he is talking to the queen. Okay. I understand why I was sent. You will have your weapon, my queen. I will not fail you. See that you don't. Okay, so there begins the quest. There is Cesaro, the mad weaponsmith. Hiya, thanks for coming. Did you bring the plaster and parchment? Wait, you're not here for my intro to paper mesh volcano class. Oh, then, help this ghost. Huh? No, talk to me again if nothing appears in my quest window. Okay, it's a quest. A walking nightmare. The first of the stones should be in the stables to the east. Go check out the stables and tell me if you see anything out of ordinary. Run down, haunted stable. Okay, let's go to the east. And... Mm -hmm. Someone there, isn't it? And there it is. 
a walking nightmare complete uh, nightmare found it was some horse right there let's go back up just a zero quests let's just turn it in okay a ghost horse is totally not out of the ordinary of or a creepy rundown haunted stables but I sense that the nightmare oh it's literally a nightmare oh yeah I love puns <laughs> okay it does have the stone so okay good job okay nightmare found a ritual required <clears throat> You can beat the tar out of that horse all you want, but unless your weapon is prepared with the right magical ritual, it will never drop the rock. You're going to need some electoplasm from the wraiths. Well, uh, in the CW show Supernatural, Ghost release electroplasm. Uh, okay, so let's do this. Okay, so gross. This will do, but couldn't you? But couldn't you like put it in a jar or something? You look like a used tissue. <laughs> Let's turn it in. Okay, a spider's finger. The next star a reagent in the ritual is a spider finger. That must be tough to find, cause you know spiders don't have fingers. But these things are straight up mutants, so one of them should have at least one finger. Okay, so we need to find one spider finger. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so a spider's finger. Man, this is the grossest ritual ever. Okay, almost done. Okay, let's turn it in then. The next thing is well done. The last thing that we need is some water from the well of a ghost town that was wiped out by a plague at least a century ago. Lucky for us, here we are. There's a well in the town to the north. Go get some water from it, okay? So let's see. North. This is north, right? That new. See. Let's try here. Um. Okay. So let's go here. That should be north, right? Okay. I say we go there. And then here. Hmm. Okay, so we go to the right. Um, more right. And there it is. Click on the blue well here, and you will get the water. Okay. The last thing that we need is some water from the well of a ghost town that was wiped out by a plague at least a century ago. Lucky for us, here we are. There's a well in the town to north go get some water from it so all you need to do is go uh, go uh, where I'm going just go right here then to the left here then inside this town then to your right inside even more and there will be a well there you just need to click on it collecting and then well done, well done complete. Now you just need to take it back to our friendly, well ma mad magical weapon smith, Cesaro. Oh my goodness, what was that? Okay, there we are. Complete. Great, here we go. The extremely gross un unction of a hero's weapon is complete. Okay, so let's turn it in. Fighting a horse. Your weapon is ready. I hope you're all warmed up from the busy work quiz because it's a mini boss time. Go get us that first stone. Okay, first screaming stone found, so we just need to go and defeat that nightmare. Okay, so just go to the right and let's fight this guy. And there we are walking out of the Oh my goodness, what's that? Oh he attacked us. Oh who's that? And he attacked us again. Oh, that's Shamat. Okay, I see that your skills are not exaggerated. Few people on lore can defend themselves against my attacks. And he attacks us again. 
and we defend ourselves, okay? Like heroes. Who are you? My name is Shamat. I'm a hunter in the service of the one you call the queen of all monsters. Very well, bring it on. I'm not off charge with killing you. My task is to obtain the stones. Hand the over the first one over and I will let you live. Is that the best threat you've got? Do you have any idea what I've been through? I would have been disappointed if you made it that easy for me. There are still two more stones to find here. Game on. Okay. So he just disappeared. Let's see. Well, that was cool. Okay, what happens next now? And there we are. I guess we need to go back to Cicero with this piece of stone, fighting a horse, turn this in. Quest, fighting a horse. Really, one of the queen's servants is here looking for the stones too? Now, what are the odds? It looks like this just became a race. Okay, so that is the Vague the Dead. I'm sensing the power of the next stone coming from the Dead Moor graveyard to the southwest of here. Go take a nice pleasant walk through the graveyard and see if you can find the stone's guardian. Okay, so let's accept. So what you do is go right here, that is west. Okay, so we need to go over here. And then that says graveyard right there. There's a pointer marker to there. You need to go keep going. And to the graveyard. Further in. And further in. And there it is, Geist, Wake the Dead Complete. And now you just need to take it back to Cicero, of course. You just need to walk over to him now. Okay, it's a long and boring area. And there. Quests. Turn. Oh my goodness, new set of quests. The cursed soul of Mayor Prodigine is the stone's guardian. His guilt and hatred have twisted him into the terrible spirit known as Geest. It's never like a little forest weasel, is it? <laughs> I bet you'd give anything for a forest weasel right now. Ah, yes. So let's turn that in. Bone breaking bonds. Geese has cursed himself for getting Malora killed when he was Mayor Proditione. The stone ties him to his guilt. You need to break the bond if he's going to cuff up the stone. We're going to need his bones. They should be scattered around here. Okay, let's accept. Okay, so they're not exactly hard to find. You just need to go back to the graveyard here. Okay. Inside the graveyard. Left. And there, as you can see, there are three blue arrows here. You just need to click on them where they are pointing. Prodigious humerus, prodigious clavicle. Prodigion's uh, skull. Okay, let's go to the 24th screen, and there are three more of them. Prodigion's femur, and some ribs, and some, and his hip. Yes, breaking mark complete. So you just need to take it back to our Cicero now. Walk over to the right, keep going, keep going, and keep going, and going, and going. Okay, let's go. Uh huh. Up and turn it all in. Okay, so you turn it all in. Good job. Are you sure you got all of them? This one looks like a little, like looks a little like a pig skull. But maybe he was just really, really ugly. Hey, that's that's not very polite. But okay, turn it in. Last dreads of humanity. His boats tie him to this location, but now we need to find something else that ties him to the dead that cursed him. I'm going to need to the shreds of his shattered humanity inside the monsters in this area. They're easy to spot. They look like lima beans. Good luck. Okay. So let's do this. 15.
Okay, so last chance of humanity. I guess they look more like soybeans. I'm surprised. Oh, I guess he says beans. Soya beans? Okay. I'm surprised you could find them all. Good at all. Find them at all. Good job. Okay. Consecrated ground. I've buried, bundled up his remains. All you need to do is bury them in a consecrated ground. The graveyard is holy ground. Go find seven grave sites and bury guys' remains. Okay. So we need to go to the graveyard. That is to the right. Here. Yeah. Just a little bit more. And there we are inside the graveyard. So I need to go to the left again. And click on this blue arrow here. Burying. Here remains buried. And here. 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 Okay, so with all the burial done, we need to go to the right now, here, and this right, right here, okay, and bury the two remaining remains, and, well, return to our magical, mad, mad magical weapon smith, Cesaro, let's go. Okay, there we are, just a little bit more. And there he is, Cesaro. Quests, consecrated ground. Okay, it's done. I can feel the bonds have been broken. Turn in. Okay. Geest. I guess we now need to fight him. Geest will drop the stone now, but he's still a hate filled, jealous, and very dangerous spirit. You have two options beat the rock out of him, or you can let him beat you up until he drops it by accident. Your call. Good luck. So let's do this. Okay, G's complete. Um, you did it. No sign of the other guy. That's good. That means you're up to, uh, you're up to to nothing. Not that this is a sport, but it could be. Major League Ultimate Ghost Fighting and Relic Hunting. The pay per view, uh, view alone would. Sorry, getting off topic. <laughs> Just turn it in, the last caretaker. The town's last caretaker had the last stone. You'll find his out at the far end of the town to the north. Look for whatever clues you can. You can. Remember, you have to find the last stone before Charlie, or whatever his name is. Okay, accept. Okay, so we need to go to the town. Let's go. Um, here is the town. To the left, I think. No, no, no. Oh, maybe. No. Ah. Uh, to the here in the middle. Okay. Go over here. Let's see, we'll go further. And there, a house, a house. We need to go inside this house and look for blue arrows. Okay, there it is. One. My mind is going. Need to remind myself where I hid it. Moved it to the kitchen. What? Seriously? Mind is going. And there. It's starting to make the food rot, moving it to the bookshelf. Okay, so it's in the bookshelf, the next note. So I need to go to the bookshelf. Um, and there it is. Someone will find it. Someone will find out. Too easy, have to move it. Potted plant. Okay. So, I don't know. Let's try going up. More up. And there it is. One is right there. But I need to take, drive this thing away here. And there. Now I can click it. Stupid idea. Stupid. They are watching. Have to watch them back. Hiding it behind the portrait of the watcher. Okay. So it must be here. There. Come. Came home. Someone has been here. Still here. Have to move it to the Cecilia's room just for the night. Okay. So I guess Cecilia's room is upstairs. And that room must be Cecilia's. 
And there's a skeleton lying there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, and there it is. Cecilia stopped breathing in the night. My fault? Stone's fault? Doesn't matter. Nothing matters. What? His daughter died? Man, seriously. S Stone sleeps with me now. Man, this is awful. Let's go here, away from here. And there. Oh my goodness. So the skeleton is this, guys. Finding. You have found the final screen store. The last year, take a complete. Man, this was. I don't know, sad. Oh man, poor little guy. So I just need to take him back to Cicero. No cutscene? I've got a cutscene right pop up since I've found all three, I don't know, uh, stones. Okay, it's get hard getting back. So there I am, back. Let's see. Turn it in. Okay, just two quests left. The final stone. Now all we need to do is, I guess a cutscene will pop up here. And yes, a cutscene did pop up here. Okay, there. There it begins. And he's twinkling his fingers and three components are, the three stones are here. In the air. Smash him. He says the zero. Really? That's it? If you want to, to if you want it more complicated, I can make up some kind of ritual or no, this is fine. I'm just surprised Shamat never showed back up. And what happens next? What's happening to her? Oh. What? She turned into a banshee! Uh oh, so. What next? What the? Thank you, hero. I couldn't have done it without you. Done what? What's going on? Oh, Malora is a banshee now. I can see that. Why is she a banshee? She was murdered by an entire town and has been trapped voiceless for a century. She has been stewing in her own hatred all that time. The power of getting her voice back and kind of let her rage take over. I told you this was going to happen. No, you didn't, Cicero. Pretty sure I did. I did. You said this would help free her. And that is exactly what you have done. Hear me now, banshee of dead moor. I have freed you from your century of silence in the name of the queen of all monsters. You will now serve your queen by spreading fear and terror and she will grow strong. You are her new weapon. Okay. And she attacks Shamat. And he's all scared. No, what are you doing? Okay. So she is... Oh my goodness, he's falling. Oh man. Disgusting. His face is melting off. His face melted off, literally. Oh, classic. Bad guy underestimates the power he's trying to harness and gets destroyed by it. You gotta appreciate the classics. So, now we run. What? No, you fight her. Once you defeat her in combat, her rage should fizzle out and Mar Marlora will regain control of herself. Are you insane? That's what I'm told. She melted that guy's face. You see that puddle over there? That puddle was that dude's face. <laughs> okay, so this is... <laughs> that puddle was that dude's face. <laughs> okay. This is really funny. Okay. Oh, yeah. You'll need those enchanted earplugs. <laughs> she can still hit you, but it will protect you from her death whale. Are you sure? Only one way to find out. Knock her dead. Deader, whatever. <laughs> Oh man, that puddle used to be the guy's face. Oh man, I love this. Okay, so now I guess we battle the Banshee. We accept the qu Okay, what, what, I think new... Okay, you have laid Jace to rest. Here's hoping he stays there. He needs a good long nap. Now all we need to do is get a fire store and then smash him. Okay, the confrontation. The Banshee was murdered by an entire town. She has been trapped voiceless for a century. She has been stewing in her whole hatred the whole time. You must defeat her. Okay, accept. Let's click on Battle Banshee. And there it is. Oh, this guy is defeating her. Okay, I, I, I joined the battle. And there, let's do this. Okay, 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 okay. okay. She's turned back to normal. Malora? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. How are you feeling, Mal? Wonderful. 
I can talk again. Hero, I'm so sorry that I lost control of myself. Cesaro warned me that would happen, but I still couldn't control my anger. Ooh, I told her that would happen. My bad. <laughs> it's okay. I I'm just glad that you can rest now, Melora. I can. Now that I'm whole and you helped me release my anger, I feel like I could really let this world go. But I don't think I will, just yet. Why is that? Deadmoor is still a town of angry spirits. I'd like to try and help them the way that you helped me before I rest. Cesaro, thank you for taking the time to understand me. It was fun. I'm going to own that charades now. Hero, once again, I can't thank you enough. If I can help you in your battles against the Queen, please let me try and repay you. Thanks, I'll remember that offer. Battle on. Okay. And with that, we have completed the entire Dead Moon saga. So, this is it for this video. If you liked what you saw, please take a second to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Comment too if possible. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.